What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are, I don't know, I don't know what this video is. It may be a toy hunt. It may be the reveal of my new tattoo that I'm getting today. It may be a little bit of combination of both. But uh, before, right now we're at a Target right now. See that Target over there? Yeah, you see it. It's right there. Right now I'm on the way to my tattoo, so I am hitting this Target store. And after I hit this Target store, depending on what they have, see what the results are. And then I'll also throw in a clip of a Walmart that I went to, but also... I'm definitely going to try and plug footage of my tattoo in, but I'm on my way to, to Atlanta right now for my tattoo. So we'll, we'll see how that all goes. Hopefully it goes well. But nonetheless, man, let's go the hell inside. Let's find out if this area actually has a good selection because this is on the way to the tattoo. So uh, I don't hit this target often, but every time I go and get a new tattoo, I always stop at this target. So let's find out what they got. It's windy as a sunbish out here, son. Wet, rainy, garbage weather. Terrible. I'll see you guys in a second. Fellas, here we go. Oh, what the hell is even that, dude? Jesus Christ. What do we, why do we, why do we even try? Why do we even try? Ted DiBiase, lots of those, no chase. Good figure, but, and I love that rock. It's a fantastic rock, but. The top picks Ray, never, well, I think I saw this the last time I was here, so they haven't stocked nothing, man. Top picks Ray. Trash Corbin, that same Bianca that's flooding up my Walmart, and then more trash, so, God, what a horrific selection. Bless the people that live here. Just awful. Just absolutely awful. Or maybe my stores have just spoiled me now. That's probably what it is. I've been spoiled by my own stores, so now stores that don't have immaculate figures, they get pissed off, I guess. I don't know, but what a freaking L. Let's look around a little. What the hell is, is that Crooked Man? They got Crooked Man. They got... So their neck section and stuff is not over by the TVs. It's over here on this aisle. Lots of cards in ish. Where's the Marvel Legends? And the same old stuff. Looking for, uh, you know, the No Way Home Wave, but looks like all they have is Magneto. Um, I might get that for my son for Christmas or something. Those are pretty cool. I think he'd like that a lot. Hmm. God in heaven, just didn't, you might as well just sit in the car, you know what I'm saying? Why even, why, why try, why do anything? You tried hard, you failed miserably. The lesson is, never try. Bart and Lisa are feeling a little upset right now. Isn't there something you'd like to say? There sure is. Kids, you tried your best, and you failed miserably. The lesson is, never try. <laughs> God in heaven. All right, fellas, here we go. Okay, we got some new stuff. Unravel 13 in the house. We got Dan Housen. Very nice. What'd you find? The rock? What garbage? <laughs> garbage. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Gotta have these. That's the valuables. Gotta have those. All Alexas. You got Brock. Brock, Brock. RVD. RVD. We also got. The Butcher. We got Sting. I don't see Darby or Wardlow, but they have the Butcher and they have the Blade. I feel like he'll be here for eternity. This, this is a wreck. So somebody obviously got a couple of them, but then it's all the same stuff as always. Christmas Carols, Chris Jericho, Nyla, Jericho, Jericho, MJ. Same four elites. Okay, so somebody bought one of them, or maybe not. I don't remember. But, yeah, all the same stuff. I need to put a Jar Johnny Gargano out. Uh, and a ton of rock. This figure's gonna be here forever. Sting, I think I'm gonna get the Danhausen. I think this is gonna be a cop, but I know it was a little hectic, but we were on, we just took a quick Walmart trip, so why not go ahead and film something for you guys? So, there's that. Uh, I'm gonna touch up this area, though, because it looks like garbage, but I'm getting this Danhausen. Second one in the collection. They do have Sting, no, no Darby, no Wardlow, but they have the rest, or Bunny, that would have been, oh man, if we would hit a Bunny, that would have been crazy, but, um, I don't see anything else, unfortunately, I need to review that, but, yep, uh, yeah, I gotta touch this up, look how terrible, garbage. Right now, I can hear this is the hard work that's involved, I still say we come off pretty good, because... <laughs> 
All right, fellas, so I've already I filmed a segment, but we didn't really find anything. However, I did straighten up the aisle. It looked like a damn bomb blew up over here, but I did straighten up everything. So I put everything in its rightful place, like we organized it here, so it looks a whole lot better. However, we did find the Superstar Series 7, Captain Lou, Vader, and Roddy Piper. I still have not seen Hulk Hogan in person, but seeing this figure in person looks immaculate. Like, it looks really, really good. I like the way this Captain Lou looks. I think I'm going to grab these because they are unpunched most of the time when i find these they're not unpunched and so it's difficult for me to buy them like i'm super behind on these i've missed a ton of this series and i really love these figures but since it is unpunched and everything like that i think i am going to grab some of these i don't know which ones though i'm definitely grabbing captain lou probably grab vader i'm not entirely sure and then roddy piper i'm on the fence about did find an unpunched rock as well and this earthquake over here so i found these just kind of chilling but uh everything else is like standard like uh, there's a mr perfect but it is punched we've seen that a couple times there is a recruit but it's punched there's another roddy piper back there and then it's like all your typical same stuff we've seen here over the last few toy hunts top picks jimmy roman of uh, ruthless aggression rock the same basics we saw on our last toy hunt pat mcafee a, a lot of this hogan they actually did get a lot of this hogan from this series um but all the rest of the stuff is pretty much the same there's another rock up there uh more ruthless aggression this is all rocks up here and then it's all just elite 100 stuff like typically you know the typical stuff there's a stunning steve Ooh, might need to grab that i don't know it's been here for a minute but last time i was here they had what supreme cm punk there's like 700 Chris Jericho's and Eddie Kingston's. I don't know if you guys' area is like that, but look how many there is. There's so many of both. But uh, we found what? Ultimate Edition Randy. Oh, yeah. Look at this trash. Look at this trash I found. Dude. Look at this garbage. Bro. You've got you've got to be kidding me. I bet it's the same person that took the chair from the Rob Van Dam. Remember last time there was Ultimate Rob Van Dam, Lesnar, Randy Orton. And then I come back and I find this garbage. Just straight just straight garbage terrible man i don't know what's going on there but somebody took the chair and then somebody took the the whole damn randy orton so uh just i don't know but here is the uh rest of it i think i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna make some decisions but um i feel like i'm gonna regret not grabbing these while they're available for just the accessories in the sleeve right so i don't know if these hit clearance or something i might but for 20 bucks it's cheaper than a standard elite i think yeah it's like three or four bucks cheaper than a standard figure but i don't freaking know man it's very early it's another 6 a.m toy hunt you know how we do but uh, this is uh this is the grind right here but sorry the clips are all over the place but anyways let's hit it all right, man, we are back home after the toy hunt. I know you're looking at a box right now, and we got, like, a lot of collectibles right here. Nonetheless, still haven't gotten them out of the packaging. But I do have an update for you guys after we get through the haul here. The first thing that we grabbed, man, was the Unrivaled 13 Danhausen. Now, I already have this figure. Where the hell is it? I have it somewhere laying around here, but this is my copy that is going to be opened. You guys can see that it's already dented and stuff like that. I don't know. I may open the other one as well because I love Danhausen, but uh, this one's certainly going to be opened. I'm going to open this thing up, and we're going to take a look at it. I don't know if I'm going to review it. You guys can let me know if you guys want to see it. I still have it on. I haven't reviewed on Rival Series 13. It hit when I was like doing a whole bunch of other stuff and it kind of fell by the wayside. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know down in the comment section below. We could review the whole wave in one if you guys want to. But there's Dan Housen. Was really excited to find that because, uh, you know, I, I like to double up on AEW and I love Dan Housen. So uh, I'm probably, anytime I see Dan Housen, I'm probably going to be a cop just for different fix ups and stuff. But we do have more, man. The next figures that we did grab. Now, when I went to Walmart, I was not looking necessarily for the Superstars figures. I was really looking for the damn new Marvel Legends No Way Home Spider Man figures. I've been checking Target and Walmart every damn day because i want to review that full wave for you guys and just get some different looks in there but finding the rowdy rowdy piper i've seen this a lot of times in store but i don't think i've ever seen it unpunched and if i have seen it unpunched i just didn't register it so we did get these i'm gonna leave these men on card every single one of these superstar figures you see will be left men on card but the next one that we did grab is going to be the rock so we did get the rock here men on card which is nice and unpunched if i get superstars figures like this i want to keep them unpunched so you know it's kind of a challenge to find them unpunched so uh, I, I did go with the rock right there. The next one, which was my biggest shocker, didn't expect to see these in stores, is going to be the Series 7 Vader and Captain Lou. But we did get Vader right here, another unpunched figure. Looking really good. You got the fabric cape in there. Very beautiful looking figure. Very excited for these, man. I was really ha happy to find these. So we did get Vader. And the last one that we did get was Captain Lou here. And this looks so damn good, man. I love it. I love it. The cloth goods look so good. And, I mean, if I find another one of these, I'll definitely be grabbing that one as 
as well, but they only had one there, and so we did grab the Captain Lou. I like the way it looks. It looks awesome. Can't wait to... Uh, I got to get some shield or defenders for these guys. I got. I think I get them on... Oh, God, what is it called? I want to say it's like this website that you can buy cases for your figures. I got to go back over there. I've done it for like my other Superstars figures, but I'm going to have to do it again there. But, but all four of these are in really, really good shape, so that's really nice. But the whole reason that we went over there is to find the damn, the rest of this wave. Uh, this did ship from Amazon randomly, but I really want the rest of the wave, man. Arguably the worst figure of the wave. Even though I did want this figure, I want the rest of the damn wave, man. You gotta find the rest of them. I'm gonna be doubling and tripling up on these to make a really epic Spider-Man display and, and stuff like that. You guys can see I have a lot of Spider-Man here in this box right there. But yeah, it was cool to uh, get that figure and stuff like that. I found this Spider-Man the other day at Target. I don't remember if I showed you guys that or not, but... There is uh, that figure, but this is our haul right here, man. Pretty successful day, I'd say. You know, kind of a random video thrown all together, but I hope you guys did enjoy anyway. Also, today, there are figure reveals. I don't know if I'm going to be posting up my thoughts tonight or if they will be in the morning, but you guys can look out for that. But before we get out of here, I want to get into something, and I want to show you guys the accent wall in the office. So here it is, man. Here is the uh, the pink zebra stripe wall. Looking pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. Pretty excited for it, you know. I think it turned out all right, you know. Got all the tape off of there. Looks pretty clean. Not perfect by any means. And also that spot right there is a sunspot. But I did want to showcase this. I don't know exactly what's going to go on this wall, but uh, maybe you guys can give me some cool ideas down in the comment section below. But, but that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you fellas so very much for your continued support. Love and appreciate every single one of you for all of your support on a daily basis. That's going to wrap the video up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Name Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.